The Psychology of Clutter Understanding the Impact on Your Well-Being Imagine walking into a room where every surface is covered with stuff. How does it make you feel? Anxious? Overwhelmed? You're not alone. Clutter is more than just an accumulation of items. It has a profound psychological impact that often goes unnoticed. Disorganized spaces create mental chaos, affecting emotional well-being, cognitive functioning, and even physical health. Visual noise for the brain. Clutter is more than annoying when you can't find your keys buried under a pile of papers. Think about it. When did you last feel relaxed in a messy room? Your brain craves order and predictability. Studies show cluttered environments can contribute to depression and even lower self-esteem. The psychology of clutter affects different people in different ways. Some seem immune, while others get distressed by a few misplaced items. People who score high on neuroticism are often more affected by clutter. Understanding this can help you make better decisions about your space. The prefrontal cortex, responsible for decision-making and problem-solving, goes into overdrive in a messy environment. A cluttered environment can increase cortisol levels, the body's stress hormone, leading to persistent tension. The constant visual reminder of clutter becomes an ongoing stress trigger, causing heightened levels of anxiety. Over time, this state of chronic stress may exacerbate issues such as insomnia, irritability, and a sense of overwhelm. When living or working in a cluttered environment, the brain must process multiple stimuli simultaneously, leading to cognitive overload. The result is cognitive overload, where individuals feel mentally drained and cannot prioritize essential tasks. The psychology of clutter is often linked to feelings of shame, guilt, and embarrassment, leading to a loss of self-esteem. For many, clutter becomes an outward manifestation of internal struggles such as depression or anxiety. A cluttered space can cause decision fatigue, leading to procrastination and avoidance behaviors. This paralysis leads to a lack of productivity, which can intensify feelings of inadequacy. Clutter can be a productivity killer. When your workspace is chaotic, your brain has to sift through the mess, making it harder to focus. Studies show that a disorganized space can sharply reduce efficiency and increase mistakes. A messy bedroom can interfere with your sleep quality, making it hard to unwind and fall asleep. Living in a cluttered space can weigh you down, making you feel overwhelmed and helpless. Clearing clutter can be a liberating experience, giving you a sense of control and improving your overall mood. Clutter can strain your relationships too. If you constantly apologize for your messy home, it interferes with your social life. Real-life examples and psychological studies provide concrete evidence of clutter's impact. Case studies highlight the widespread effects of clutter, showing dramatic improvements in well-being after decluttering efforts. Clutter interrupts focus, reducing overall productivity as individuals waste time searching for items or reorganizing their space. The psychology of clutter creates a sense of being overwhelmed, leading to difficulty in making decisions. Contrary to popular belief, clutter does not foster creativity. A chaotic environment limits mental clarity and blocks the flow of new ideas. Living in a cluttered space can cause friction between family members or roommates, leading to arguments and resentment. People living in cluttered homes may feel embarrassed or ashamed, causing them to withdraw from social interactions. The psychology of clutter is deeply intertwined with psychological health. By reducing clutter, you can experience significant improvements in mental well-being, productivity, and overall quality of life. Thank you for stopping by. Click like and bang on that subscribe button. Please visit the description to get even more life-changing information.